All right, as we've been talking this morning, the funeral of Free State Education MEC Ted Makwe will be held in Bloemfontein today. Let's cross to our reporter, Makala Masiteng, who's at the home of the MEC earlier. She spoke to the nephew of Ndate Makwe. Makala, a very good morning to you. I see the body has arrived. When you spoke to Itu Meling earlier, uh, they were still waiting for the body to arrive home. I see it has arrived now. Makala, take us through what is uh, going on at the home of the MEC at the moment. Good morning, Lebu. Yes, um, the body has arrived, as you can see there on the camera. Now it's just a small prayer just before uh, the procession head to the University of the Free State South Campus where uh, the official funeral will take place. But I have spotted um, a Minister of uh, Basic Education, Me'enji Jim Mutecha, among others. They are also here just to support the family for that small rituals uh, before they go to um, that official uh, funeral service at the University of the Free State. I'm just going to let uh, the visuals play so that you can see what is happening at the moment. As you said, Lebu, we are at the home of the MEC Tate Mahwe. Uh, here we are with mostly the members of uh, the family just before we head to the University of the Free State. I've also spotted uh, members of the traffic police who will be directing the procession as we head to um, the official funeral service. But now, as you can see, still just a small prayer before we head to the University of the Free State, where we're expecting the service to start at around 8 o'clock. And it seems like they are on time. As you heard earlier on, the name if you it did indicate that there's a long list obviously of the people who are expected to speak at the funeral um, and he did indicate that there's a possibility that there will be a slight delay because according to the plan they said that the funeral service will start at eight o'clock and then finish at around 12 o'clock where they will be heading to the burial site but as he indicated that there is a possibility that we will We'll see a delay with that but we have seen that several people are expected to speak including among others the minister of basic education but also the former MEC of education in Gauteng Banyazale Sufi those are some of the speakers that we are expecting um, earlier on or rather later on today among others also the premier of the free state um, Oli Sidukwana is among uh, the speakers but as I said earlier on we are expecting high profile um, officials, political officials to uh, grace this funeral for the send off of NEC of education, but also expecting especially members coming from across the country, from the education sector, taking into consideration that NEC served for a long time as MEC of education, but also in his involvement in this department. He is actually uh, the longest member of um, the legislature in the free state. He has been there since 1994 until the day of his passing. He served in various uh, portfolios including the Department of Tourism, the Department of Finance as well as uh, the Department of Public Safety among others before he took over the portfolio of education in 2000. 2009 and actually earlier on during the week some members of um, the legislature were just uh, paying their tribute to the late uh, Tate Mahwe, uh, talking about his contribution and his uh, passion about education that he was one person who loved and wanted to see and make sure that black child is educated and he was really passionate also about uh, the science 
technology and maths subjects because he was actually a an engineer graduate and at the time of his passing he was actually registered at the University of the Free State for the PhD. Um, a representative from the University of the Free State was talking about him as a student as well as the leader of education that not many can be able to maneuver around that uh, being a student and also being a leader at the same time but he was one person who was uh, dedicated rather to education as you can see um, the cars are arriving just to take uh, the body and then we are expecting to see uh, the procession leading uh, to the university of the free state where we are expecting the official funeral to take place at the University of the Free State. We were talking just earlier with the nephew who told us that um, we are expecting, of course, the funeral to start at 8 o'clock, but there will be some delay taking into consideration that um, there will be various people who are expected to speak on the, on the lives and their experience experience with Tate Mahwe. So his protector, William D, was laid to rest um, yesterday. They both died uh, last Sunday in that car crash, uh, but the driver is still recovering in hospital. about to take the body now and then the procession will lead or rather head to the University of the Free State. We talked earlier on with the spokesperson of the Department of Education, Howard Dendava, who has been uh, the spokesperson of Tate Mahwe since uh, 2000 uh, in various portfolios before they came to the Department of Education in 2009. For about 20 years, he has been the spokesperson of Tate Mahwe in various portfolios. And he was talking about his uh, uh, work ethics when it comes to making sure that even the information that is uh, publicized to the public is correct when it comes to the preparations of speech that he was one person who was hands on who wanted to make sure that everything goes according to the plan uh, we actually earlier on had an opportunity during the week to speak to the head of the department of education because he said many people were asking uh, that um, what is going to happen now that uh, MEC of Education Tate Mahwe is no longer with us uh, because many people are looking at him as one person who was leading this department to where it is today with its performance but he allayed the fears saying that uh, Tate Mahwe leaves a good foundation when it comes to issues of uh, performance in the province and saying that they are not promising anything but one thing for sure is that uh, Tate Mahwe leaves them with that culture of working hard and they will continue and carry um, the baton forward. Um, as you can see now the body is about to leave and the members of the family head into their cars. We are about to leave and go to the University of the Free State for that official uh, funeral service level. All right, that is uh, live pictures out of uh, the Free State as our reporter Makala Masiteng doing a sterling job there for us at the home of uh, Tate Mahwe, the uh, Free State MEC who died in a car accident uh, last week, Sunday. So the uh, procession is about to leave, uh, as Makala said, to the Free State University where the official proceedings uh, will happen today. The, uh, there was a live visuals uh, from his home. We spoke to the 
uh, nephew of the MEC earlier, Tate Makwe, uh, about what we expect to happen. And we expect uh, the uh, Education uh, Minister, Menji Mutsekha, to also speak there, several MECs as well, to uh, take to the podium. And we'll bring you live visuals of that as and when they become available.